Hello everybody and welcome back to the main channel. Today we're talking, well, today, which is Friday the 31st of May, uh, we're talking about 73 yards, not a review, I've already done that, it's in a week later, talking about the impact 73 yards has had. I gave it a mixed review, basically what that means is that my review was on both sides of the fences, I liked it. There was a lot of bits I didn't like, but overall, I thought it was great. And it was a 7 out of 10 if I was going to rate it in that system, which we never are. We never are. We're just going to... We only rate it once we've finished, right? You don't rate it in the middle. You rate it once you've actually finished producing. Once you've finished the whole series, and you do a top 5, and that's the only rating you're ever going to give anything. So, Reese Shears me put online saying that why do people keep telling me it's like inside number nine? I've got to watch it. And the reception to this episode has been off the scale of goodness, right? People can't believe people don't like it. Obviously, I am not in the dislike category. I'm in the category of I've got multiple opinions. It's a mixed bag for me. I liked a lot of it. There was bits I didn't like. It was great. My review was as e as um, balanced as the BBC, so I gave all the points correctly. But it makes me think to myself, well, what what bits did I think were not great, and what what have I thought about it a week later? Because I've had a chance to think, and Rishi is saying that. It re people said it's like an insert number nine. Uh, warning, warning, warning. The next few words are going to be a spoiler for 73 yards. If you've not seen it yet, go and watch it now on the BBC iPlayer or on Disney Plus where available. Warning, warning, spoiler, warning, warning, spoiler, warning, spoiler, warning, spoiler, warning, spoiler, warning, over. Boom. Uh, it, uh, so it's uh, number nine, for anyone that doesn't know, it's, there's a the beginning, in the middle, and there's always a twist at the end, such as, like, what they sang in the Devil's Court, there's always a twist at the end, so for instance, for instance, you might think they're in an escape room, and they might wake up to be dead, but then by the end, as they're about to die, they might suddenly arise from a coma, so, this episode having Millie and the Doctor, d the Doctor disappearing, Millie going through her own life um, j just because she can no longer see the Doctor, and then die, and then as she's about to die, she sees herself, and the woman from se there was 73 yards away was herself. That is a classic inside of a nine trope. This week we're going to have a, I think, episode four, Doctor and Bubble might be our. Black Mirror type episode due to shooting filming sex education at the time. There might not be a lot of shooting in the episode, but we'll have to find out. I'll have to wait and see. So 73 yards. When you think about it, when you take that week to think, once you've seen everyone else's reaction, you think, well, right, you analyse it and go, this is why Doctor is brilliant. Because everyone can have a, another opinion, but when you rethink about it, you... I, I said this in my review, when you watch it again and again and again, you'll probably find stuff and a lot bit more sense. Um, but I feel like 73 Yards is one of those episodes that is going to survive in a long line of amazing Doctor Light episodes. And what I mean by that is that the Doctor appear in it, rather than love it, well... I can't say other monsters, rather than, I don't know, can't think of a New Who story, a New Who episode, sorry, that all uh, fit the bill. But there was an episode, that, uh, I think it's called Mission to the Unknown, that was lost, and then a university recreated it. And that was the, that was the only episode where Ian, Barbara, Susan, and, the doc and William Hartnell as the Doctor weren't there because they all went on holiday and so they did a whole episode without him in it. That's a doctor that's a non doctor episode, so that's an episode where the doctor's not in it. A Doctor Light episode on the other hand is where 
the doctors either at the beginning or at the end. But the doctors in it at some point on Blink, uh, Love and Monsters, I was over three yards of three Doctor Light episodes. So the Doctor appeared in them, but it, it wasn't the Doctor's episode, if you will. So, what I'll say is that when you look at 73 yards from a 73 yard di- distance, you think to yourself, well, I think, I think the story from what, what hence once you've remembered it has improved, such as it's, you, you, you think it's got better, and you've had time to think about it and go, I do quite like that concept. And Service Three Yards has still got a lot of mysteries to solve. Philip Hawkins made a video on it and it has solved those mysteries. So it won't be solved here, he's just be looking back at it a week later. It's it's one of those episodes that you will appreciate and you will uh end up adding it to the list of amazing episodes um, in the in the future. You wouldn't do it at the beginning because you seen it where you had to process what you had actually seen. So thinking about it a week later helps to go right before the next episode. Let's think: Did we really enjoy this episode, or do we still think it's great? And I think thinking it's great is still works for me. It's, it's not saying it's bad, and it's not saying it's my favourite episode ever. It's, it's roughly in the middle. Uh, and there's elements of it now, you look back at it and go, oh, yeah. And having seen Doctor Who Confidential, you sort of think, well, she really wasn't actually saying anything, though, and the whole act, the actor was learnt to mime and gesture, and the actor for the woman in the, the 73 hours was phenomenal. And I think Doctor Who... Unleashed helps you, even if you weren't happy with it, even if you're in the great country, you do bring back the love for the episode because you see how much work went into it. You, you just see how amazing it was to work on. And funnily enough, it was actually Millie Gibson's first day on set, right? Her first day on set was filming episode four. I mean, what more could you want? So this episode of Doctor Unleashed felt weird. Because of the fact that they kept to mention it, it's the first day. Because it was. For all of them, it was the first day. And they, they had to explain that all, everything they filmed out of order. So they might have filmed the Devil's Court in the last day. Who entirely knows. Not me. I don't entirely know. I mean, some people may entirely know. But I don't entirely know. And I think the 73 Yard just shows, even though it's Millie Gibson's first attempt, shall we say, at being in Doctor Who, as in, in this episode, she did a phenomenal, a phenomenal job still. I mean, you can't, you can't say she didn't do an amazing job. Even, even Stephen Powell, the host of Doctor Unleashed, said that it was a cracking episode. I mean, what more can you want? The behind the scenes might even agree that it's a really good episode. And so, to round off there, looking back at a week later, you see that the mysteries that are with there are slowly being solved because people are cracking it. And there is still elements that people aren't, which is saying, con- confirmed and con- unsure with. And I think that this concept could return again. So, there you have it. That's my look back at 73 yards. I'll see you all tomorrow for, re- for my review of Dot and Bubble at the time. Well, I'll be watching it at midnight, so it's whatever time it is later than that. So, please enjoy that review. Time will do out. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe to the official Tom Mason YouTube channel.